What's the story boys? Welcome back to GTR, it's Aaron here. And today in this video I'm going to be looking at and sharing my thoughts and overall review on Tron Runner, a game that's been recently released on the PlayStation Store. Now, this game guys, more or less what it is, is it's like an obstacle course and you're constantly moving forward here as your like Tron character. And you can see there's a lot of things you got to do here. There's wall running, there's uh, grinding, as you can see what I'm just about to do here. There's these red devil fuckers that like shoot you. Um, so you got a lot of obstacles in your ways and you, it's, it's got a really good flow to it. You're constantly like jumping, sliding, wall running, grinding, shooting targets to make new platforms appear. And um, I must say it's got a really, really good flow, flow to it guys. Now it's really satisfying guys when you do good in this game when you keep your combo and scores up. As you can see there in the top right, you can see like my uh, combo circle bar, whatever you want to call it. And that will, uh, you can see it there, it's going down now. To keep that up, I want to collect these uh, yellow kind of circle coin looking things, which are actually are like these big coins. And for every one of those you can collect, when you complete the obstacle course, you keep them all. Um, regardless if you keep up your combo or not, if you collect them, they'll be there. And you can use those Bitcoins to uh, upgrade your character on um, other missions, which is uh, really, really handy. It makes it easier. You can put on certain upgrades. So here on the left-hand side, guys, you got like your power-ups. And you get certain things like um, you can make your throwable disc stronger. You can uh, duplicate the bits you collect. They're probably the two best ones. And on the right-hand side here, uh, aggregator, which is a really important one, guys. That like doubles your your score that's what you want to use for to get the high scores you can put on shields you can put on eradicator which takes out nearby enemies so there's a lot of different things you can use guys which are helpful uh, in completing the game and all the uh, obstacle courses so you do actually have two other game modes in this game guys uh, you have your cycle mode here which is in the middle where you're just on like a motorbike going through checkpoints really really f fast drifting doing tricks which is really really fun and uh, the last one here is called stream which is a mixture of the disc and cycle mode uh, and it's endless survival so you can just keep going and going until you die which that's really really fun to see uh, how long you can actually go in this game and post high scores and try to beat your friend's score so that's pretty cool as well so this is me here guys just playing the cycle mode and as you can see it's really really high paced you got other uh, two other opponents there trying to fuck you up you can see that guy kind of ran me there you can actually hit them when they're close enough to you and you can destroy them you can go up ramps just like did there boom do some crazy ass tricks and you have to keep going through these checkpoints obviously to um keep your fucking score or keep your time going up should i say so you don't run out of time so you can uh, complete the obstacle course so that's really really fun as well i actually really like that game mode so this is me here with guys playing the survival mode here, the last of the three. And I think this mode here looks the best graphically. I really like the, the graphic style of this mode. Uh, to, but to be fair, all the two other modes look, look very, very good as well. This game actually does use the Unreal 4 engine, so the colors do really pop and they're vibrant. As you can see here, it does actually look really, really nice. And overall, guys, uh, for all these reasons I said in the video, I'm going to give this game a score of 76% out of 100. I think it's very, very good for the value of 20 euro there's a lot of gameplay in it and you can constantly just uh, compete against your friends or globally for high scores which this game really does want me does make me want to do that because um, I know I keep getting better and better scores so I just think that's really really fun and I think people that do like obstacle based uh, uh, time based games you know where you're trying to set high scores they really really would like this game so I really would recommend it for people like that um, that's me done for this video guys I hope you enjoyed my review on Tron Runner and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take it easy. Peace out.